Well, what's up my friends, RC84 here like always, thanks for watching and here's an update video on the Konghead 6x6. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I do thank you for watching. I've been uh, working on a project build, the Konghead 6x6, it's a 1 18th scale 6 wheel drive uh, off-road truck from Tamiya or Tamiya, ever how you <laughs> pronounce it, it's fine by me. Now, I'm halfway through the build process on this vehicle. Now, this chassis right here is the new G601 chassis from Tamiya or Tamiya, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's a kind of unique kind of chassis. There's a total of 12 gears in this chassis because that makes up the transmission as well. So, you got gears up here, around, down, and back here you got three differentials uh, the motor is a 540 series can motor brushed as you can see there uh, so yeah <laughs> um, so halfway through the build all I got left now is to build the shocks um, put the tires together the body uh, electronics and stuff and then it'll be pretty much ready to roll so just a little bit more work with this vehicle I've been working on it here and there to my spare time um, you know, so that way I don't get really too burned out on it. So um, let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that I've been using in this build. Uh, of course, you know, I'm using a, just a regular uh, screwdriver. And the crazy thing is, is that this screwdriver is a Stanley. It's one you get like at Walmart for just a buck or two or something like that. But I have some really awesome Craftsman ones up here that I got for Christmas about two years ago. Great things. They're great screwdrivers. But sometimes those great screwdrivers does not want to work with my RCs and I have to go down to this dollar or two screwdriver. <laughs> Crazy. I'm also using a cordless uh, screwdriver which is a uh, drill master 4.8 volt cordless drill. Uh, it just really just kind of helps speed up the process a little bit but I don't torque it too much. Uh, I go back and hand torque uh, the screws in that way I don't end up cracking the plastic or whatever so yeah uh, another thing I'm using is just this uh, magnet plate here for the screws and stuff that way everything is in its general area so I don't lose anything and I'll talk about some grease here I'm using now the kit did come with some grease but I technically like using this grease right here it's called green grease it's a waterproof type grease, it's multi-purpose used. Uh, I use this in all of my RCs to protect the bearings and gears, uh, especially because sometimes I do run my RCs through the water, so I, uh, I want to make sure I have necessary protection against it. Now, uh, Tamaya also sends this AW grease, which is for uh, anti-wear grease. It's for the uh, actual dog bones up there in the... Uh, up there my drive units are, or the axles are, <laughs> whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's some stuff I'm using right now on the build. Uh, so yeah, so I just wanted to give you folks an update on the build process of it, and eventually I will get this thing done. I'm just taking uh, my time on this vehicle. I'm not really rushing through uh, through it yet, <laughs> or, or not trying to rush through it so much. I'm trying to, you know, build it a little bit here and there and you know film the whole process of putting it together down here on the floor is the box where I still have a lot of parts the tires the body shell if you guys want to see that and there's a, it's a semi body shell just a general uh, view of this right here now color wise I uh, I really don't know exactly what color I want to paint I actually wanted to do like a maximum overdrive kind of theme but finding the uh, the green goblin head that I'll need for the front of the vehicle is really hard to find. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I might have to look at doing some another theme or something like that. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say on the build here, guys. I just wanted to give you folks an update on the build and where I'm at right now on the build. So uh, yeah, <laughs> so. Uh, if you've been watching this build from the day one, I do thank you for watching. And if you're just tuning in for the first time, hey, keep watching the videos, guys. Um, I have a lot more coming out here. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also like the Facebook page uh, 
for the channel as well so that way you can get tabs on uh, when a new video is coming out, uh, pictures and stuff like that, especially with this build project. And I do have another build project coming up. Well, not a new build project. It's kind of a redo project or something like that, uh, which is going to be on my SCX-10. But other than that, that's all I have to say, guys. So uh, I'll see y'all in the next upcoming video of the Conkhead 6x6. Well, that's it, my friends. And I'll see y'all another time.